Stop, Pitt screamed, flying over the battlefield. Everyone put down their overpowered imaginary weapons and stared at the angel. It was with a great effort that the commander of Paul Tana's army smacked everyone across the face. Don't you people get what you're doing? You're destroying the world, our world, Pitt said angrily. All of this over a bunch of stupid stories that shouldn't be on websites anyways. What are you saying, Pitt? Link demanded. We should all pick up and leave? We have a right to write what we want, you know, so... Pitt smacked him. No, I'm not saying that you should delete all your fan fictions. But what I am saying is that I'm freaking sick and tired of this crap. You all claim to be in the right or the wrong or the whatever. But all I see is a bunch of children making a huge drama over something that should be taken to the forums instead. But Link is ruining the archive with the stupid truth or dare, Zelda sniffed. They are unintelligent and insulting way to gain reviews. Oh yeah? Look how many troll fix you've written. How many flames have caused me to slip my wrists? Link snapped back. It flew in between the arguing couple. Knock it off, you two. This is exactly what I've been talking about. Your stupid fight is tearing up the archive. Us decent authors can't even get our chapters in because of your fighting. Do you remember the last time I updated Shot? Of course not. It was immediately drowned in a sea of troll fix and truth or dares. You, he pointed to Zelda. You need to stop acting like a brat and freaking stop with the insults and stuff. So you like to see people's reactions. Fine, fine. Just do it in the forums or something. Maybe even the PMs. Just keep your shit away from the archive. Link pointed at Zelda and laughed. Ha! 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 <laughs> Pitt then turned to him. And you! Stop using your fame as a truth or dare writer to raise up an army or whatever to get back at Zelda. What you should be doing is benefiting the archive. Didn't you know that fanfic writers are seriously looked down upon? And considering the state of our archive, I'm not surprised. What with poorly written troll fix and rather uncreative little tidbits here and there, and a war over said fix, which aren't even supposed to be here anyways. Damn it. Just go take your testicle waving somewhere else, please. Everyone stared at Pitt. It was well known that Pitt used to be a famous TOD writer back in the day, but right now he was writing a story called Protectors Come Up, a proper one with prose and reasonable spelling and plot. He was quite proud of it, and in his own quiet way actually garnered a lot of support. He was an advocate of good writing, and while he understood that he probably saw himself as the best writer in the entire archive, he had a pretty big ego for such a small guy, I didn't mean he shot down every fic that got in his way. But ever since the war started, he had become ashamed to write for the archive. One strong and beautiful story had been quickly torn up, torn down, rather, by the slew of truth or dares and troll fics. As the war escalated, so did the two type of stories. Pitt could barely get past the first page anymore, let alone post another chapter to shot or protectors come up. In spite of everything, Pitt was proud to be a fan fiction writer. A proper fan fiction writer. One that tolerated stories that abided by the rules and were innovative. He would occasionally find a gem of a fan fiction here or there while scouring the archive. But these days, such gems were rare. The angel left the Smashers, then, ready to start on the epilogue of what he believed was his finest project to date. Finn!